Now we're probably gonna miss class. This game logic. <laughs> What's the face palm? Was the face palm for the peeling out? That's Chloe logic. Ugh. I can't sleep. It's written on the wall. Take a selfie. Oh, Why not? Remember this moment. Vision mailed. Go to bomb. Mission oh, failed. Wait, I didn't. Are you saying? Are you talking about the peeling out made the mission fail? Because I agree with that. I feel like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing. She's being really Chloe's being really real right now, and I, I like her better. When she's dropped, she's dropped that guard, like her walls are dropped. And I like her better when she's being real. Plus David oh, has the house so wired, so I don't get night. how he doesn't know but she's there. Awesome. Yeah, Griffin, I bet he well, I does know. I ponder what kind of criminal I've become. I bet he knows. Last night was only the tip of the iceberg. I have to admit, it was pretty cool to take over the Blackwell gym. Today the gym, tomorrow the world. We need to step it up. We still have to be careful how I use my power. I don't want to get stuck in time. No, his house is wired. He tried to have the school wired. Yeah. No, he didn't. He didn't try to have the house. We missed that part on, on our stream and then Griffin told us one of the things that we were supposed to find was his little security system in the house. I but I missed that. I can get up at any time, I but I don't want to miss any dialogue. So many men stronger than me have thrown their backs out trying to live. Gonna be late for your date with okay. Warren. What? I need to get dressed now. Warren, no, I don't want to be late for my date with Warren. But it's the morning. Glad. To see you didn't blow up Blackwell last night. Almost glad. BTW, the drive-in is actually popular, so I'm buying the tickets now. Oh my god, I hope it doesn't force us to break the date with him. He's buying tickets! Oh. I'll let you take care of the popcorn. In other words, you can't back out now. Oh, the pressure. Our dad texted us, and I remember that. Hmm. I don't think I'll be moshing today. Well, where are my clothes? 
I could have hid in the closet and then David wouldn't be on my case. Yep. Wow, I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Don't be a dummy, cover your willy. <laughs> wow, sir. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. Not sure what the trouble was. Hi, bye. I love, love this song. There's my clothes. Oh, at least we haven't been identified yet. Thank God she's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. Kate, Kate's stable now. That's good. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. Mystic weather, supernatural science. I'm lucky David didn't bust me for acting like it was my pot. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. <laughs> Can't compete with Rachel. Holy shit balls. Frank is scary. I should have let Chloe take that money. Chloe, money now. I don't have your money yet. This is my last message. I get it. I'll I'll get it. Whoa, I'm not gonna read that out loud. No you effing WH. Oh, okay, Wolfman. He's got a gun, too. What'd I say about the joint? Look, look at my clothes. Time to put on your daily armor, Max. Get dressed. Ew. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. I already looked in the fashion hole. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey there. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. No! <laughs> Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. No. <laughs> I'm not surprised, but uh, okay. One, it's hella creepy to put on Rachel's clothes. Two, it's weird that she was being so pushy about putting on Rachel's clothes and then all of a sudden wants to kiss me. Like, is she trying to make us into Rachel? I'm not gonna kiss Chloe. I mean, if you've been friends with somebody for a long time, like, Chloe's gotta know that, that we're, that we're straight. But then again, like, it, it needs to give the player the option to choose, so. I just think the positioning of the question is a little odd, like, right after she's pushing us to put on Rachel's clothes. Like, it would have made more sense if we were, when we were laying in the bed, if she would have made a move then. Seems like she's trying to force her image of Rachel onto Max. Yes. I totally agree, Griffin. Like, okay, so when we woke up and we're laying in bed and it's playing the music and stuff, like, if she would have done something then, 
then that would be... I still would not kiss her, but that'd be totally different, but it's super creepy now. Nope. Will you want to do it and then see what happens in the rewind? I'm gonna say no. Sorry, not that easy. Oh, That's like what I, I am? Say? Just what? admit that you already macked on me, then used your rewind. Now I can text Warren that you're saving yourself all for him. I am so going to best unfriend you for that. Best I love that you. Chloe is so fearless. I bet this is a big directional change. I think Rachel's style is a little more subtle. Like me. I do not want to wear Rachel's clothes. That just freaks me out, really. Can I just go put on my own clothes instead? Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra? Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to, uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Oh, I can't, I can't rewind. I wonder if it was an option to put my own clothes. On. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. Oh my god, that smells so amazing. <gasps> Kate texted! Oh, I don't know if I can read this without getting emotional. Not out loud, at least. Yeah, I can't, I can't read that out loud. Hey, Kate, I'm so glad you're okay. I will visit you as soon as I can. I promise. It's like when we were kids here. Is she wake and baking? Oh, wait. Why did I do that? That was really silly. No, you couldn't because of the chlorine. Pretty sure, anyway. Well, IRL, you could just wear the chlorine clothes. We've already looked in the bathroom. Arcadia Bay. Nobody in this town has a fucking clue as to what's happening. Do they? How How is it all connected? Like, it seems like the... Rachel missing and Kate stuff and... Drugging women's stuff might be connected, but how is... How is the storm everybody else connected in the to that? It's just another morning. And the, the storm and the time stuff, I, it doesn't seem like it's connected to that. I just wonder, remember back in that first scene, in the very first episode, in the flash to the lighthouse, we got hit with the big like the top part of the lighthouse. I just I better not go in there. I think we died. David might be in bed. Oh yeah, that's right. Ew. David's there. I should have explored that room when I had the chance. I missed it. Oh, I'm sorry I'm yawning. Well, the security guards knew someone broke into the pool and you're at head of security's home. Chlorine might be a dead giveaway. Yeah, you're right. I know. <laughs> Still, Rachel's clothes. Oh, that feel, just feels creepy. This might be the one time these people are right.
Looks like a message. David, this is Officer Korn. Just want to let you know, your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break-ins. What? Give me a call <sighs> soon. Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? So, Joyce already heard that. Did... If I erase it, is it gonna even matter? Let me think about it. What do you guys think? We Should we erase it? That's maybe something within... My moral latitude? I don't know if that's a word, but I just made it up if it's not. Should we? There are dead birds out there. What the hell? That's three dead birds lined up. That's fucking ominous. You can hear. You can't see it, but you can hear the storm, like, st storm coming in. And another one. I wonder how these birds died. That's really creepy. Mm. Disturbing. I remember when Chloe and me would take turns in the swing. We would push each other so hard we'd fly way up in the air. Chloe always wanted to swing all the way around. I always got scared and would jump off before I flew off. And Chloe is still trying to get high. Those weird shots that look like somebody's watching us. It's, it's weird. If you erase it, Dave might hear about it anyway. He might bring up that he should have received a message and didn't, which might make you look more guilty. Yeah. And Chloe's still trying to get high. Yeah, <laughs> I noticed that. Those birds, there's four dead birds. It's so creepy. What's going on? What? What is this? Does that go into the garage? Seeing all the pictures. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I know when this happened. And I think when this happened. And I'm, I'm not sure if we did the right actions to get these pictures. Who brings beer this early around here? Oh man. I don't want to be famous for this. Flash, no, and freak eclipse. Clip eclipses are not freak. You can't have a freak eclipse. We know already, right now, when all the eclipses are going to happen. The snow was freak, though. There's a donut. We're supposed to Oh, that was from the last chapter. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Can't go in there anymore. Um. I'm gonna erase it. Message deleted. Goodbye, message. 
Wowzer, Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. BRB, okay, Griffin. Let's see what happens. All right, okay, that you're Wolfman. You're all right. It was about me erasing the message. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. That was super fast, Griffin. <laughs> in in my time of looking at chat, that happened all in like five seconds, if that. I still didn't hear what I said about the refrigerator. Oh well. Joyce looks so different in her street clothes. She looks exactly the same. She's wearing exactly the same clothes. Good morning, Joyce. Rach, uh, I, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. <gasps> she said, oh, she called us Rachel. Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Oh, that's so creepy. We had bacon last time. Let's have pancakes. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would erase each other to grab them from a stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Is eggs it, and milk? No problem. It's gonna send us on a quest for eggs and milk? <laughs> The this eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. That's so so strange and silly thing. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Um, there's no milk. Where's the milk? Why can't we get milk out of the refrigerator? Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. It's your kitchen. Tell me where the milk is. I can't open the refrigerator for some odd reason. Oh, it's on the table. Okay. Now for the mother's milk. What a strange thing to have us do. You acquired eggs. Da 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 da. Yeah, exactly. That's weird. Like. The other ones where we had to get stuff were kind of more relevant to... They felt they felt more relevant. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or game logic. She is. Yep. Why is the milk on the table? It'll go bad. Yes, it'll go bad. Is Rachel okay? Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? <laughs> God, I hope so. She was is smart. And she always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Aww. Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Who wants to go back? I want to go back. Go sit at the table. Okay. I will sit at the table. I guess nobody waters the plant here. I'm glad that's creamy and not creamy. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. 
Good, you can clean. Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. Now that's what I call pancakes. Mm, I want some pancakes. Mm -hmm. I would rather not go back, but be the same age again, knowing what I know now. Yeah. Hey! Hey, AZ Cactus Flowers, welcome. We're like getting kind of towards the end of this mm, beer, I say on the table. This is like a story game. I forget the way they phrase it. It's like um an interactive movie. I don't know how to describe it. See you again. Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Visual novelesque, yeah. Uh, I don't think I can rock this Cinem outfit I like think Rachel. In the description they you said like cinematic cool something. Those are the kinds of games I enjoy. You would really like this series. Wow, it's so good. I totally so remember good. That it's been day. like crazy I'm intense. Glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And, and I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. It's about her father. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. Mm. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? A it's little bit. About you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Whoa. No one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure. Run off and pee when you oh, should wait. back me up. Is now, she, who's being paranoid? Is she doing that on purpose so I can sneak into the garage? Nobody else does. At first, I thought I she was. I do need to get into David's computer. At first, I He's thought she's gotta be hiding shit. At first, I thought she was really talking to her mother like that, but then her mother kind of acted like she's done that before. But then, did were was it a distraction, so we could go in here? Where does that go? Let's go faster. What am I looking for? What am I supposed to be doing? Did you hear what we're supposed to be doing? I guess this. This is the only thing I can do anything with. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Oh, we're trying to hack the password. Thank you. But well, we've got to find clues. Nothing to see here. So we have to figure out his password? He looks almost normal in that picture. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Here it is, Wolfman. Nothing in it. Oh wait, that was the little TV. That was the little TV that we were sp we we could have found in the other episode, and it shows his little surveillance system. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Seven one seven one. Anything else? 
Let's keep looking. Let's remember 7171. Hmm. Maybe this ID number might work. Wait, that was an ID number? Hmm. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. That's long. Something to do with his military background, probably. Maybe, but it's a little excessive. What, will somebody type this um, in chat so we can refer back to it? 45000552212. Just in case we need it. Oh, let's try that combination. I can't, I can't activate the padlock. I can look at it. Chloe can't get another gun now. We're trying to get Unless the- Unless she steals it back from Frank. We're trying to get the password for the computer. I could try the license number for the password. And the license number, 63567. So we have three, three numbers to try. Looks like David has read this a lot. Coming back home, Adventures Guide. Oh, that's sad. So he did have trouble. Look at the cover. He had trouble after he came back. Oh, David is such a mixed bag. I just, I don't know what to think about him. I really don't. All right. So, oh, we didn't have to remember the numbers. Well, because we had to remember all this stuff when we were looking in Chloe's pocket. My mouse disappeared. Oh, no, it didn't. I'm being silly. Which guys, which one do you think? Family. I don't think it's stepdad. That's so silly. I'd be surprised. But we'll try it. Magic 8-Ball says no. Army. Sorry I made you type Such all the wrong. numbers. <laughs> no way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Fortunately, we can rewind time. I did ARMY. Oh, was that wrong? Was ARMY was wrong, wasn't it? ARMY, ARMY, ARMY. Damn. I thought I tried that and it was wrong. Worst hacker ever. Am I just delayed in chat? He's pro he's the security guy. It's gotta be long. It can't be but he's not that kind of security guy. Never mind. It's probably dumb. Nope. Ah. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Rewind. Try this one more time. Personal. Long one. Oh, shit balls. No way, Max. You I, totally froze the laptop. I tried all of them. Did I not rewind far, far back enough? Maybe I didn't go back far enough. Possibly, but yeah, wait, I'm gonna quit. How am I missing one? There's nothing I can do over here. I searched both of those drawers. Doesn't that just go back into the house? I still need to find the password to David's computer. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Did I get that drawer? Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Read. Read what?
Nothing to see here. It won't let, it won't let me, it had the option to read it? I don't think it, it had another option. Looks like David has read this a lot. Oh, okay, I get, I got you. What ya. did you learn? I gotcha. Nope, it doesn't give us anything. Nope. I'm just wondering if the one, of, like the last one we tried was wrong because the laptop was already frozen and I didn't rewind time back far enough. I'm gonna try that really long number again. <sighs> try again. Magic 8-Ball says no. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. That was only two. Such wrong. Worst hacker ever. No way, Max. You totally it. froze the laptop. as far possible it was three when you interacted with the laptop you tried step douche oh that's right you're right yeah all right well let's go look out by the car oh there's so much stuff out here i didn't even see obviously david's parents care about him that date might be a good password But it's that. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. So it's that date. I still need to find the password to David's computer. The knife. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. To my field angel, keep your wings up. Huh. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. It was an honor having you in the diner. Nice to know that gentlemen still exist. Love to talk to you again. Love to talk again with you soon. BTW, the name is Joyce if you forgot. Smiley face. Aww. It might be a useful password. The day they met. So it's one of these two dates. So we should get it next time. Hopefully. Just make sure there's nothing over here. Oh, there is another one. David has been dragging his head around since 2001. The day they met, or was that, I can't remember what that tape was, their wedding tape or something. I'm going to say the day they met first, because. No. I don't want any of those. I want to choose the day they met. Family, right, duh. Which was the date, I guess, 2007? Nope. Ah! 
No, 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 I don't want to do that. Family. 2008. Score! Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Finally! Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? No freaking way. Rachel hooked up with Frank? The RV... Like... Meth, meth doubt guy. The tw 2007 was a tape from his parents. Okay, sorry. I'm like bad at paying attention. Rachel has been cutting class all week. Frank and Rachel meet once again. He is document. This all of this is messed up. Why is he documenting all of like? every little thing she does. Rachel avoids her dormitory, followed Rachel to Lighthouse. She was picked up, Rachel Amber was picked up at 2.35 p.m. at Blackwell Academy for possession of a controlled substance. This was reported by David Madsen, head of campus security, who witnessed her trying to hide or secure a suspicious medical bag. This officer was called the, uh, this officer was called into question, Ms. Amber, who was responded with threats and denials. Her bag was found to contain various illegal pharmaceuticals. Oh, I wonder if... Oh, I don't know what that means. Perhaps it's a good thing that he followed her might help find her. Yeah, but what if we don't know yet what his role is? But yeah, I might help find her, but it's creepy that he's doing it. And I can't believe Rachel was like really pretty and a straight A student. This, this freaks me out. And she was, we, I mean, we don't know for sure, but we think that she was with Chloe. Maybe she wasn't with Chloe. Maybe Chloe was in love with Rachel and Rachel was not in love with Chloe. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Right? Kate follows the same path. Overheard Kate and Dana talking about supplies for Vortex Club party. Drugs? Question mark. Watched Kate with her church group. She knows her Bible. Kate stays in the ba in bathroom longer than other students. Drugs? Question mark. Does he see drugs everywhere? Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with goatees. <laughs> Don't trust grown men with goatees. Kate has kept to herself since Vortex Club party. Not even church drugs? Question <laughs> mark. Tried to talk to Kate about the party. She got upset and ran. It can't be possible that David didn't know about the video, right? He, he, does he think he's like trying to crack a drug ring or something? This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. He has our schedule. It is creepy, e even if it helps us find find out what happened to Rachel. It's still really unnerving. Bad boys. Yeah. Arizona cactus flowers. Well, he may have PTSD, so. Yeah, but what that PTSD has nothing to do with this kind of behavior. With, like, following, following young girls and taking, remember, he's taking a bunch of pictures. He's got cameras everywhere. I don't know. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad. We need to log, mad. log out. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. It's not gonna let me log out. But why does David care? What's that? To a real life hero. 607 survey company. 
Oh, that was probably another potential password. PTSD does influence lifestyle, but doesn't necessarily cause this. Unless the person is used to work in intelligence, then maybe. Yeah, I don't think this is a this is related to PTSD. And just because he uh, had trouble acclimating when he came home, do also doesn't necessarily mean he has PTSD. There are a lot of a lot of um, different reasons that veterans can have trouble acclimating. He may feel that he is still in a military role of scouting out the enemy and doesn't know or forgot that it isn't a normal thing. That's a really good point, Griffin. That's a really good point. Oh, I love that little... Is that a bat? Is that a kitty or a kitty? It's like a kitty bat. You have the cutest emotes, Griffin. Maybe the game will explain. This game, this game better explain. What about the dead birds? That's what I want to know. Is she eating our pancakes? She's eating our pancakes. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. Vandalism? We didn't what happened? vandalize Some anything. Shit ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. I think it's a kitty, but it looks like a bat to me. But it's either, either way, it's cute. Here. Yeah. Is that it's your super Rachel cute. Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave me alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser he now, David? He raised his hand to her. Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Oh my god. It's a kitty bat. Can I answer this with kitty bat or chipmunk bear? I don't want to take sides. I'm like a guest in their house. Why would I have to take sides? There's no, like, not take a side. <sighs> Damn it. Well, I can't side with David. I'm Chloe's friend, and I think she's right about the surveillance stuff, even though she does have more of an attitude with him than I think she needs to. But he's getting an attitude, too. It's all crazy. Oh, Griffin. <laughs> oh, my heart. My heart. Oh, I love your emotes. They're so cute. All oh, the little cuties. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very well, disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Whoops, go back. Sorry. Not from you punks. Maybe you just calm down. Oh. You're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Of course. Women always stick together. Well, He's... screw you. I David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. 
like when I'm outflanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. Joyce is the only one that, like, has a I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing on anything. David. And David is, like, I forgot how sexist he was. He made that, when we, um, when the whole thing happened with Nathan in the bathroom, he said something like, you're always using that as an excuse, like, all girls or something like that. You know, we only had that one, he only had to let one little moment of redemption. I don't know. I'm sure he means well, but he's still crossing over the lines and acting like an, an asshole. Oh, can I talk to Joyce? Can I talk to David again? I can. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Weren't you supposed to go to a hotel? Max, don't beat yourself. David up. is hot. David and this all by himself. <laughs> Understand? Well, if Abo was still here, you and Abo would like be buddies. <laughs> I didn't hear what she said. I didn't hear what Joyce said. Oh well. Team David. Hashtag Team David. <laughs> Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Yeah, I'm not gonna rewind it. What are we supposed to do? Joyce just said not to beat yourself up over what happened. Thank you, Griffin. This game would be impossible without you. Well, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. They're all, like, not talking to each other. Can I leave? I think it's time for us to go. See ya! Oh, right, okay, so we could go. I just didn't walk close enough to the door. Beer drinking military man, lol. <laughs> yeah, but he's got, I mean, he's got their whole house wired with cameras. He's got a lot of other stuff going on than just beer drinking and military. Probably leave Joyce's one cool mama. I love Joyce. Yeah, she's really awesome. Have plenty of good beer drinking military men out there. Well, right, Wolfman. Yeah, like, there's not a shortage of that. <laughs> and still, I don't think it's PTSD. Yeah, I don't either. I don't either. I don't think it's PTSD.